Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. I want to address an issue right now. The narrative is being pushed that Bed Bath & Beyond has not filed for bankruptcy. Someone else also said that they were buying back their own shares. I'm going to explain how this none of this makes sense to me, or you. It shouldn't. When you file for bankruptcy, guys, which they have done, they did so voluntarily. They weren't forced to do it. They did it themselves. Okay, they didn't buy back their shares. They're not. There's not like a, a pile of shares sitting on the side somewhere. Institutional ownership and insider ownership combined is around nine percent right now. No one holds these shares but the public, and they're all worthless. They're ten cents a share. But whoever's pushing this out is crazy. Let's go ahead and read this really quick. This is on my my timeline, my Twitter feed. Big Howie, hey, I've known Howie for two and a half years. Big guy for GameStop, big supporter. Somewhere down the road, this guy fell off the map. And I don't mind talking about him because I want, I want everyone to see the way people are thinking right now. He said, someone once said the company might look like it's going bankrupt, but it's really just might not. I told him that's not true. I told him they're going for bankrupt. They're, they filed for bankruptcy. Therefore, they are bankrupt. He said, all right, I made the clip. And then he says, I right hear, no, this doesn't, my friend. It just means they have filed. JPM forced them to. Uh, I will wait and see how it unfolds. This is crazy talk. This is the bullshit that no one's listening to. Guys, JPM didn't force anybody. JPM gave them the ability to keep trying to find a stocking horse. When this is his hair, draw it all back, guys. Back in January, when they had two bidders, right? They obviously lowballed them and they said, no, no one's going to take this, this deal. So what did they do? They decided to cut out all their stores, get rid of everything, close down all the Canada stores, chop off Harmon. Now Sue goes on and does an interview and says, I'm offering you this. 360 uh, Bed Bath & Beyond stores, 120 Bye Bye Baby stores. She let everybody know the footprint's this small. Now will you buy it? No one has come to the plate yet. They have until May 22nd to buy it. That's why it was filed with SEC. That's why everything was done that way. But even more so than that, there's a thing called, you know, day one motions, all this nonsense that already happened, okay? They did file for Chapter 11. They have dip financing. You just don't get that without filing for Chapter 11. So I don't know what the hell, what fantasy land you guys are living in. They have enough money to last them about maybe 90 days. Other than that, it's done. And then it'll go to Chapter 7 and people will buy this shit for 90% off. But to believe that they haven't filed for it, first off, don't quote DFV as in to say that this company, it's not GameStop, guys. GameStop had a balance sheet that supported the fact that they should be in business. This, these guys right here, Bed Bath & Beyond, they have a balance sheet that shows you that they should have filed for bankruptcy six months ago. They finally did now, but they did it voluntarily. No one forced them to. So don't say shit like this. Don't do this stuff. And I'm just, and why am I calling out Howie? It doesn't mean to call out Howie. How about everyone at the PP show still pumping out hopium on a 10 cent stock? It's, uh, it's all or nothing, this whole narrative now. I don't know why they paint it this way for everyone out. This is not investing, guys. This is people throwing a quarter in the wishing well and let me know if the shit happens for you. Well, I'll be over here with reality and the truth. Yeah, I took the night off from YouTube, but I couldn't. I couldn't just sit back and watch people crumble and lie to themselves again and again and again. You're wrong. You lost your money. Get over it. But I'll keep making the videos and just to remind you, that's what I do. All right, whatever. I'll see you guys in the morning. GameStop can't stop, won't stop GameStop. Everything else is absolute garbage. Bed Bath & Beyond, file for bankruptcy. AMC is worth nothing. <laughs> Adam Aaron with his fake madness. Get out. That guy makes 25% more this year, <laughs> and people don't realize what they are. They're all tied to private equity. Do the homework. Peace.